Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Damien. I'm here to try to guide you guys through Curse Spell, as a beginner at least. You know, I'm, I'm making this guide today to try to teach you a little bit about uh, beginner combos, how to start with each weapon, what to do, like very basic combos. There's like a lot of mix-ups in the game that you can do. These combos are not the uh, end at all and be at all, you know, like you, you can do a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to give you, you as a beginner or maybe new uh, older players, something to look at and be like, oh, okay, that's, that's doable and uh, I can use that. Okay, so the point of this video is to try to show beginners uh, started combos. Combos they can easily do without having much of an issue deleting or uh, taking a, a quite a chunk of the enemy's HP. In this case, the weapon I'm using is the, the weapon with the highest uh, physical endurance, which is uh, action endurance in this case, which is the sword, and I'm using the bow, which uh, uh, debatably, debatably it has one of the best range in the game. So, do keep in mind that Bow, unlike its counterpart Staff, does not have the burst potential, but it does have the poke potential, uh, and so normally you can chip off your enemy's HP very easily. So in this case, what you want to start by doing, you want to learn how to do the double double LMB that everyone speaks so much on Sword, which is this. You want to start to learn this, uh, all you have to do is double tap the W really fast, or the S, or the A, any of the direction keys, and then left click. So you do double tap, left click. This will give you uh, initiating knockup, and this knockup can be followed uh, in order to start a combo. Uh, normally, this is one way to do it. The safer way to do it for sword right now would be to pop fortitude, which is our endurance skill, movement skill that we have on sword, and uh, pop the stun hit, which is our uh, E skill that we have equipped right now. Which will, uh, which has a very high endurance and very break, very high break value. In the next video, I'll do, I'll uh, explain you guys what break value means. But normal, but just to sum it up, it means that you'll be able to interrupt your enemy. That's basically it. So in this case, we'll do fortitude, stun hit, and then double double LMB, and you'll be knocking up the enemy. This is the start of what you want to do. So let's assume this, the enemy is actually uh, stunned uh, right now, because uh, just for example purposes, we'll knock him up, we press space to chase, and then we hit with both. Right. This is what you want to try to master at the start, the swaps in the air, because it's very important. You do this with every karma uh, combo you have. All the karmas have this potential, doesn't matter where you run, if you run double slayer, if you run double breaker, if you run slayer and breaker, everything will always eventually do something like this. So, I'm gonna start by showing you guys on bow and sword what is the uh, one of the combos that you can do effectively without needing to make much of an effort. I'm gonna try to make it as clean as possible so you guys, the beginners, can actually follow what's happening. So we're gonna start by doing a, uh, what I told you guys to do, which is uh, start by fortitude, you do stun hit, double LMB, one hit in the air, one, two, three, put them in the air, do your E, one, two, three, put them in the air again, and then you can do like something like this. And maybe if you can put them in the air again, you can keep going like that. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, the game has a mechanic where if you do three chases, uh, on the third chase, uh, the enemy will drop. This uh, cannot be seen in the training room. So I, I, I would advise you when doing mix ups, sometimes it's better to get someone to be your dummy and go to customs. So they can try to help you out uh, what kind of combos are viable. But this is a, a combo that is viable on bow and you can do this with fist and uh, with uh, sword. The only difference is that the sword LMB, this thing over here, it is much easier to do because it sends them up and with the fist what we'll do it will send them forward. So it doesn't gain enough height to do it properly or to do it as easy because I do believe there's people who can do it without using the sword. But uh, if you're on Fist, I would advise you to use uh, one of the grabs like Reckless Charge or Whirlwind, which I uh, grabs that grab your enemy and throw them up. One thing I just realized while recording this is that uh, uh, it might be a bit too fast for the beginners. So I, I did leave subtitles there. So I mean, unless I make a, an extended video about every single class, there's no other way to do this. Uh, one thing you guys can do is stop the video around the part where you can see the subtitles so you can keep up with uh, whatever I'm doing because the combo is pretty fast 
people are used to it, uh, don't have that much of an issue to follow up. But uh, as a starter, I mean, that's the only way I can do it for now. So I hope uh, hope that helps you enough. Or if you guys have other doubts, you can leave it in the, leave it in the comments or ask me on stream. So before I jump into DS, which is uh, the Dual Souls, I'll be jumping in a sec. I do want to remind you guys that uh, the bow requires you to be really up close to, in order to do that combo efficiently. So when doing that, try to do it the, the starter combo that I, I showed you guys to be sure that uh, you can always follow up with uh, ev the, the entire combo. So distance and positioning with bow is very important in order to keep the combo going. So DS or dual souls. It is the bane of many beginners and I hear beginners after one after the other complaining that it's too OP and I believe that mainly this is because beginners have a tendency to stay in the slayers because they do more damage, it feels really nice to play because you're not up close. Unlike the staff and the bow, the DS does have to be up close most of the times so people that know how to play up close will normally take an advantage of people that like being uh, really far away all the time. The DS can be kited, I'm not saying that it cannot. The uh, tip I'm gonna give before we even start the combo is, if you have problem with dual souls, do practice staying on, the, on your breaker. Stay on your breaker till you're able to get an engage going and then only swap to your slayer whenever you're sure that you're not uh, about to take damage from a DS player or anything like that. So the starter combo for DS is basically sort of the same as, so as uh, Bow, but the difference is that DS is always up close. You, you have to be very sure that no one's close to you so that you do not get stopped and interrupted and uh, in return actually get comboed yourself. So you can go, in this case I'm always doing it with sword because sword is more beginner friendly and I do advise you guys starting by sword because you don't get interrupted as easily. So the first part of the combo will be exactly the same. You pop your fortitude, stun hit, double LMB, chase with, them, with space and once you're in the air you will want to swap to the S. I'm gonna do this slowly so that you guys can actually see uh, how it is done. This time I'm gonna do the full combo. 42, stun hit, double LMB, double LMB again. We see where it went, and then we do it like that. I'm gonna be leaving the titles below so you guys can see how it was done. When doing the second part, which is basically a uh, you drop from the sword in the attack, you just chase it, and then you do you change to, your, to the S and you do the double LMB to, with the S. Do be careful because you have to see which direction your enemy is being thrown at. And this is the tricky part. There's two ways. Either get really good at understanding which direction the, the, uh, the enemy goes to. Or you can do like some players like doing, I am not one of those, that's why I miss this so much. Which is to look up when the dummy is going up so you have an idea what is going but you get, do have to keep in mind that you have to start pressing your R and B as soon as you do as you throw them up so you do the throw up you press R and B right away and then you do R and B on them uh, followed by a double tap of one of the key directional keys this might require sort of a timing in order to get used to this so I would advise you to start by practicing a simple R and B on the dummy and then double tap the uh, movement keys so that you can separate each phase of the combo and uh, eventually do them all together. All right, so now I'm gonna be talking about the staff. This is the weapon I've been using lately, but I do not normally use sword on it, but since uh, star player beginners normally start with sword, I'll just show you guys a couple combos you can do with staff with sword. Because the, the main point of using, I use the hammer instead of the sword, and the main point of using the hammer is that when you uh, build your character with the stats for staff, the hammer also gets those stats, basically. And uh, when you're doing it for sword, since it's a physical weapon, it kinda uh, loses a bit compared to, to hammer, if you're going staff. So, I am right now using a sword, but I would advise anyone that's uh, uh, using staff or that wants to make the staff their main weapon, to eventually farm the hammer or buy the hammer and go for it because it definitely has a higher synergy with the hammer than it does with the sword. Regardless of that, 
here we go so basically the starter combo is a bit uh, basically the same this is without even needing to use any skills you can go with fortitude stun hit throw it in the air and then you do double w space lmb and you charge your fireball and the fireball normally hits before they even hit the ground but yeah that's basically it this is without even using a skill you can, then you can swap and do some skills this is around 40 to 60 percent of their hp if you get lucky with the crits and this is why uh, everyone's hating on staff so much because staff lacks the mobility and is much much uh, uh, like it's not as tanky as the physical slayers but it compensates with that with damage basically i know i'm gonna get some shit for this uh, for how uh, teaching beginners this but i think that if it exists people should know it if it's too broken and enough people start using it then it's gonna get nerfed so i do think i don't think this is a problem so i'm gonna go ahead and say what it is so this is what you call the lightning combo the lightning combo right now it is very strong just because you can pretty much bypass the rage break most of the times. I've seen uh, good players do it without an issue. I do do it sometimes, I, I can do it sometimes, but other times I do fail miserably. So that's what I'm gonna try to show you guys right now. And if you guys wanna pull it off, I mean, you can pull it off. There's people who do not even combo with staff right currently because the black hole plus the blizzard uh, has too much poke and they can just uh, keep away with the hammer and keep running and uh, spamming those two skills. But I do know for a fact from reliable source that uh, there will be a nerf so i would advise you to uh, most likely use the previous combo that i showed you the one with the fireball command because that one requires a uh, minimal to no effort and uh, you do not spend that much stamina or mana so yeah that's it so this is the lightning combo That's basically it. That will uh, do a good chunk of damage. Sometimes it might be the it might even one shot people, but I do believe it doesn't do 100%. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think you might be very lucky with the crits if you can do like a 100%. I didn't have time to do all of these combos in matches, uh, but I do know for a fact that these ones do work in matches. The ones with bow, you have to be careful the way you mix it up because you'll very easily. Uh, reach the limit of chases you can do which is three in a row so yeah this is some of the start of beginner combos that I would advise players to start with uh, from here you can develop and make your own combos however you like I hope you guys enjoyed the video I do try to make uh, videos like this every week so that uh, if beginner players don't get frustrated and uh, from not understanding what is going on what they are doing wrong and what they can do better Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I love you guys, my name is Damien, I stream almost every day on Twitch, so if you guys want to want, have more questions, you can either leave it down below in the comments, or you can go to my Twitch channel and uh, ask me live, and I'll gladly answer any of your questions. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday, have a nice one guys.